what's today's lesson about? Back-to-back -back merge effect in Final Cut Pro X. Hello and welcome to a new series on FCPX training. What is a back-to-back -back merge effect? Look at this. That's me, okay. I'm co-joined back-to-back. Okay, this is actually a question by one of my viewers. First of all, I have the two clips. All right. The first one is called the subject face right. And uh, the other clip, the subject facing left. First, I'm going to select a range to put my video. Start from here, select the range. And right before he start dusting his hands, I want to end there. Bring this down to the timeline. That's the first clip. Now for the second clip, so I want to start where he's looking up, doing nothing. Okay, somewhere here. And right before he lift up his specs. Okay, somewhere here. Okay, can select. Lift up his specs, put it on, and put down his hands, and start looking away, alright, so somewhere here. Okay, so this is the range I want, this is the action I want. Now, drag this range down, and this time, put it on top, on top of the first clip. I'm going to reduce this buttoning sleeve clip here to the same length as my upper clip because the upper clip is shorter. Okay, so now the upper clip is blocking the lower clip because it's sitting on top. Whatever is on top blocks whatever is below, covers whatever is below. So let me lift this up a little bit, lift up the timeline a little bit so that you can see what's happening. And on the trackpad, I'm going to expand this a little bit more so that you can see what's happening. Right. Okay, we go to the effects browser over here. Okay, tap on it if you haven't, haven't done so, and looks for look for the draw mask effect. Okay, I always like to go into the search box here and start typing in the effect name. D R A O uh, D R A W draw. Okay, you can only see one draw mask effect. So. This is the effect I'm looking for. So drag and drop the draw mask effect on to the upper clip, the higher clip, the clip that is blocking the lower clip. Okay, first you select the upper track clip and then you go into the adjustment panel. Okay, if you're if you're not in video, select video and go into under effects box, you'll see draw mask effect. Click on it, open it up. If the pen tool is not activated, activate the pen tool over here on the top right corner of the draw mask effect. Okay, apparently it's already activated. When it's blue, it's activated. So it says click to add a control point. Okay, you can see a pen, a pen icon. Okay, it's called a pen tool. Okay, my pen is rather big because I've increased the cursor size on my Mac OS X. Alright, so if you want to know how to increase your cursor size, let me know and I'll create a tutorial. Okay, there's something interesting here. And okay, we shall draw start drawing control points. Okay, what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut away its back like the example. Okay, I'm gonna put a control point there. And I'm gonna cut right in the middle of his head. Right, across his ears and slightly nearer to its back. Okay, I'm I'm pressing the cursor, I'm pressing my mouse right now okay, to create the control points. These dots you see are called the control points. Okay, and all the way to the bottom. Okay, let me come out of the frame a little bit. I'm gonna grab this whole frame, right? So let's go all the way here. And all the way up there. And finally, I'm going, I'm going to do it 
outside the frame so I actually grab everything. And finally, join to the first control point. Okay, ready? I'm going to join to the, click the first control point and voila! Can you see that? We have drawn the mask using control points around our upper clip and hence we can see the lower clip right now. Let's take a look, go back into here. Okay, let, let's, re, let's hide these control points right? by switching off the pen tool in the control mask, in the mask, if draw mask effect over here on the top right corner. Turn off your pen tool so that you don't see the pen now. Okay, play back and see what we've got. Bring my cursor to the front and play back. There you go. All right. I know that I know you have a question right now. The it's not convincing. I can see the cut point over here between the two heads. All right. So what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do with that? So click on your select your upper clip again and go into the adjustment panel inside the draw mask box. We want to adjust the feather effect. Okay, so let's move the feather outward or the other way. Okay, outwards. Right? As I move, you can see the, the image here. It sort of softened the edge between the two subjects. Okay, this is almost what we want. Okay, and let's play back. There you go. We have created our back-to-back -back merge effect, or what we call the two-sided face effect. Okay, somehow it's not perfectly aligned. Okay, the subject on the right actually moved forward, and it, it created a gap between here. And if you want to go on advanced further to create a better looking effect, okay, I'm going to sh go further and show you how to adjust and merge them even more accurately without the gap showing here. And I'm going to go through all the elements inside the draw mask effect. I'm going to explain what each one can do and how it can enhance your the back to back merge effect. I'm going to show you one by one each setting, like how to add points to a mask, how to remove points from the mask, the different shape types, linear bezier's B-spline, what field opacity does, feathering and fall off, and more. Download the files here in this URL. Go to this URL, videolane.com slash question mark p equals 7938. Okay, what you'll get is the step-by-step the -step guide on how to do this effect. And the two-sided face effect cheat sheet a one-piece cheat sheet, print this out, stick on your desk uh, work, workstation so you can see it every day. Then the two raw video clips, the one that I use in this training, okay, the subject facing right and the subject facing left. Okay, the full training video, other than the PDF guide, you'll see a video and the project file itself, the very file that I worked on here. You can download this file and use them, modify them for your practice. Go to the link below and click that URL and download these files. So that's it for this training. If you like this video, press the thumbs up below and leave a comment if you have more questions. And finally, subscribe to my channel.